Is that Dr. Dearn? <gasps> my, my kitty! Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's a, it's, it's a place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to a thirst stop, my darling. Palantrins can help us. I promise you, nothing will tell us apart again. Meow. Oh, Kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dean, alright? He seems to be in trouble. Dr. Dear, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up, please, Dr. Dean. Wake up. Are you alive? What should I do to wake him up? Um... Oh, electric shock. I mean, is he awake now? Dr. Dear, are you alright, sir? Huh. Oh, achievement unlocked the Electroman. This is Electroman. Isn't that what what we thought that slow was? Electroman. Mmm. The old man again, Dr. Oswald. x rays this might be the Dr. Deer's head. Somebody must really be fond of brains and head. I don't need this. Well then what do I need? There are buttons? These buttons don't do anything. Can I see the chart? No, I don't talk to Kitty. I took the syringe. It has red fluids inside. What can it be? What if I close the door? Oh. Oh boy. The old story achievement unlocked. Center of Brain Research and Pineal Gland Phenomena. Pineal? I don't know how you say that. Christine Fontaine, Clara, and Mia Buhalmet. Buhalmet. Buhalmet? Gladys, Hannah, Grace, and Lucia Dagenhart. Dr. Leon, Leon Castillo. Dr. Oswald Harrison. The second one you sent, Pineal? I know I, 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 I know I read a lot about that. I never had said it out loud. Camps, you're proving you're not evil with the repeated deadly shocks to the top. <laughs> well, what about the picture? Center of the Brain Research. Grace and Lucia Dagenhart. That's my mommy and my aunt. Wait, what? Isn't that the old nurse? Center of Brain Research. Huh. And these are the twins. I'm guessing. Creepy! Do I use a syringe now? Uh -huh. With who? Him? Maybe this will wake him up. Why do you look so evil when saying that? Oh no. That looks disturbing as fuck. Ah, oh, damn. What was that? Don't worry, Dr. Indira. It's me, Fran. Oh, what? I can't see very well. Fran Boser from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, friend. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Is that Dr. Oswald? And that's Aunt Grace? But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Uh, but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? 
Get rid of me? On Grace, why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, friend. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, friend. The same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find the key to success. The key, hmm? Did you know why, that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remer did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding the night after all. I am not calm, sir. I knew it was Rimmer all the time, but why does he haunt me? Rimmer is just a manifestation of your weakness. A blended and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would my, the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You're suffering. And pain is connected to the growth and strength, friend. Oswald, please. Let's just do what we need to do. Oh, Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, yes, you're right, friend. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. I don't trust you, Aunt Grace. Bring my kitty back. Dr. Dearn, are you alright, sir? Go with your aunt, friend. Isn't that what you want? Damn it. <laughs> Come on, that wouldn't have made me evil. Friend, my dear, listen to me. You you must know Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course, but there is still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go- No! Are you sure this lady just killed our cat? I think stabbing the man in the wheelchair would have been good. No, no, kitty. Mr. Midnight. Come on, friend. Some weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped kill my parents. Didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. I hate you. No, it's all been Mr. Midnight. What are you talking about? Yes, kill her. Kill her. Stop it, friend. Help, help. Please help. Kill her. Choke her. Choke her. Choke her. Choke her. Choke her. Choke, her. Choke him too. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. <gasps> See? See? I should have stabbed him. Oh my gosh, and she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the spirit mode. She's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. See? I was right. I should have stabbed him. Friend, are you alright? What have you done to her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Frank, Dr. Deer, and she was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Yes. 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 Oh, friend, everything will be fine. Who who are you? I'm Edward, the one many children talk about. But but you're not human. Edco, bro. Edco pro, Palantras monarchist. <gasps> Palantras. Of course, got Edward. I found him. Oh my goodness. Stay away from this girl. Leave her alone. Mr. Midnight. <laughs> Little friend must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in the darkness, friend, and you'll be able to walk towards light. Dr. 
Dr. Dearn is just like, what the fuck is happening? Aww. Oh, what happened? It were Pilantras. My head, my heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive, my kitty? I miss you so much. Please tell me something. Friend, we must go now. Go, all right. Dr. Dean, look, this is Edward and Pilantras. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Can you believe me now? <laughs> oh, shit! He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka now. We really must leave now. But can he come with us, please? He has been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that all of this was a dream. He will wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, friend. I see, well that's okay, I guess, as long as he's safe. That's very kind, you're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents will be very proud of you. You really think so? Aw, oh, thank you, Palantras. Now let's send Dr. Dearn home. Marcel Dearn, oh, and I'm in back my room. Goodbye, Dr. Dearn. Let's go now, friend. There's so much you must see and learn. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know... That between guilt and fear... I choose happiness. The end. See what I'm telling you, Natalia Figueroa did all of this and she did like a bunch of fucked up creepy stuff but you watch her on youtube and she's like like the sweetest girl ever kitty lives bro i think everyone does <laughs> everyone is dead was there something after the credits So Little Misfortune, yes. Little Misfortune is in the same universe. I mean, maybe. Maybe it was all in her crazy ass head. There were a lot of things like from Little Misfortune. Like in Little Misfortune, they explain a lot of the things that happened here. I need to pee again. What's wrong with me? Thank you for playing friend bow. 2015.
if you if you if you go to the Kill Bundy YouTube, um, Natalia draws um, both Benjamin and Little Miss Fortune, and it's pretty cool. Well, that took one hour and twenty-two minutes. Now.